Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and in this session we are going to see a very interesting topic and that is how to extend our JMeter and how to add JMeter plugins manager. So this is going to be very easy. I am going to show you a very easy and fast way to find the plugins for your project or your test, how to install, uninstall or upgrade plugins. And before I do this, let us see why exactly we need plugins and what are plugins. So if I go to my JMeter, you can see this is my JMeter. And here you can see we have all these different options. And if I go to add, we have different config elements, listeners, assertions, test fragments. And if I create, uh, let us say a new thread group. And I do a right click on the thread group and go to add. We have a lot of samplers. Now, all these options that you get after you install JMeter or after you set up JMeter, all these are standard options and standard functionalities that come inbuilt in JMeter. However, JMeter is an open source platform and a tool, and there are a lot of people who keep on creating new functionalities and new features for jmeter and these new functionalities or new features are added as plugins so these are called as plugins that you can add into your jmeter and then you can use that feature or functionality and if i go to i'll go to my browser and search for jmeter plugins and i will go to this link so here i am on jmeter-plugins.org and you can see a lot of plugins are available for jmeter and if i click on this 81 more plugins they can be more at your time you can see we have a lot of graph plugins so in case you want any kind of graphs you can check here then we have a lot of plugins for thread groups like ultimate thread group concurrency etc then for timers we have there are a lot of extra listeners that you can add to your JMeter. Then we have all these tools like command line, graph plotting tool, HTTPS, simple table server, JMS, etc. Then functions, logic controllers, samplers, config elements, preprocessors, postprocessors, etc. So whenever you are looking for some new functionality or feature in your JMeter and you do not find that in the existing set of features or options, you can always come here and then you can see all the different plugins and features extra features available let me also add this link here all these links and notes will be available to you in the description of this video and now whenever you have to get any of these plugins what you will do you will do is you will come here and go to that link of that plugin and then here you can click on download which will download a jar file and you can then go to your jmeters bin folder so or you can go to your bin folder or maybe go to lib folder and go to ext and then add that particular jar so you can see a lot of earlier jars are also available here you will also find the documentation on this page how to add and use this plugin let me also show you something some different plugin let me say i go to uh, this perfmon matrix collector and you can see you can always download it from here and then add to your jmeters folder now an easier way to do all these setup and installation of plugins is jmeter plugins manager and if you go on the same link that is the plugins wiki you will see a link for plugins manager you can go here and then you can see plugins manager helps you to install uninstall upgrade and find the plugins and you can also see a catalog of plugins here and then you just have to download the jar file and put it into your jmeters lib ext directory and then you will restart your jmeter and you will find the option for jmeter plugins manager under the options menu so let us see that i will write down the steps let me first click on this jar file so that it starts downloading the jar for me so it will download the plugins manager jar and now i will write the steps so step number one is download plugins manager jar from this link And then step number two will be add the jar file in jmeter lib ext folder and restart jmeter. So let me check. Yes, this is downloaded. I will see this is here and I will cut from here. Go to my jmeters 
bin fold lip folder so this is my gmeter and this is the lip folder and this is the ext folder i'm just going to paste it here and it has come here and now i will restart my gmeter i can go to gmeter file and click on restart i will just restart it now and let us see and you can see jmeter is restarted so now if i go to my options you will see we have got a plugins manager here and now if i click on this plugins manager you can see here we have three tabs installed plugins available plugins and upgrades if i go to installed it will show you all the plugins which are already installed in your jmeter and if you click on any of the plugins you can see all the details and documentation and a link of, for the documentation of that particular plugin and then you can also check the review changes here and you can go to any of this plugin and then see its documentation then you can always search for a particular plugin from here if i go to available plugins tab you can see all these are the plugins that are available and you can get it from here directly so if you have to get any of the plugins uh, for example i can search for any plugin so here we have custom thread groups uh, we have we have this step by step debugger let me try this one i can check this and it will give me all the links and documentation here and then here i can review the changes what all i have done this is all what will happen when you click on apply and restart jmeter here so if you click on this apply changes and restart jmeter it will do all these changes the good thing is you can do multiple actions on a single apply and restart jmeter for example if i want to add more plugins like this i can do that or if i want to uninstall any plugin i can go to installed plugin tab and let us say i want to uninstall this i will uncheck this so you can see it will uninstall this particular plugin as of now i will do not want to uninstall anything i will just keep it as it is and this is available plugins i just have to check this so to uninstall you have to go to install plugin section and uncheck to install you have to go to available plugin sections and check and if you want to upgrade you can go to upgrade section and see if there are any plugins that have a newer version and can be upgraded so as of now i do not have any upgrades so i will go here and i am installing something new which is blaze meter step by step debugger i will go here and click on apply changes and restart jmeter so it will get the plugin and then restart jmeter so jmeter is now restarting now to check let me go here to options or let me just go back to plugins manager i will go to options and plugins manager and in the installed section you can now see we have blaze meter step by step debugger i can check this and if i want i can get the documentation here this is the github page and i can see how exactly it works so in the usage i can find it under the run item of the main menu so if i go to my jmeter and let me close this one and if i go to run you can now see we have step by step debugger added here i have a video on this as well if you go to my website that is automation step by step dot com and here if you go to the section for performance testing and go to jmeter tips and tricks here i hope this video is available here let me check very quickly yes you can see this one how to do step by step debugging here i have shown how exactly to use this step by step debugger so this is how you can very quickly and easily extend jmeter by using jmeter plugins manager let me also write down step number 3 which is check jmeter plugins manager is added and then you can start using the jmeter plugins manager so i hope this was very useful for you i will see you in the next session thank you for watching